Hi, this is Tim with AirCandyCabs.com. We are doing this video in a response to a question that we got on YouTube. So this is just a video response to a question that we got about parts of a guitar. This particular instance, we're using a Fender Stratocaster. Um, Fender Stratocaster. Uh, there's a gazillion different kinds of guitars um, that have different options and different things on them. Uh, but for this particular event video, we're just going to use a, a Fender Strat because uh, everybody knows what a Fender Stratocaster is for the most part. Um, I'm not going to play through it, so if you're watching to hear it, go ahead and skip on past this video because that's not what this is about. So we're just going to identify parts of the guitar for for someone. So starting off at the very top, that's called the headstock, and um, these are called tuning can, uh, tuning key pins or pegs where you can see the strings wrap around the the, uh, the pins or pegs tuning pegs uh, and then you turn the tuning keys to tighten up the string around the tuning pegs the tuning pegs have holes in them that you that you run the string through and bend it and then start turning the tuning keys to tighten up the guitar string um, these right here are called string guides. Uh, the strings go underneath the little indention or milling of the string guide to just guide it into the correct tuning peg. Um, this thing right here is called a truss rod. The truss rod actually runs all the way down the center of the guitar neck and its function is to because of guitar necks are most guitar necks are made out of wood and wood has a tendency to uh, be subjective to humidity temperature change things like that the neck will actually it will concave or convex itself uh, if it concaves it makes the distance between the strings and the neck really far and really uncomfortable to play if it convexes out towards the strings when it gets to a certain point you can't play the guitar any further up from that point in the neck because the convexing of the neck causes the fret wire to come up and buzz against the back side of the guitar string um, this right here is called the nut that is the nut of the guitar which just serves as a guide to once again guide the guitar string into the tuning peg um, some nuts are made out of bone, some are made out of plastic. Some guitars you'll see will have um, a, a Allen head bolt here, here, and here. It'll have three of them. Uh, two strings per Allen bolt. That's for a guitar with a tremolo lockdown. This guitar does not have a lockdown. It just has an open nut. Um, these are called frets. Just this whole area here is a fret. Um, in between the frets you have fret wire that's what creates the distance between the fret and as you can see as you go up the neck the distance between the frets gets smaller it's just like a, a flute versus a piccolo a flute is bigger so it makes a deeper noise a piccolo is smaller so it makes a higher pitch noise so the longer the fret the lower the note the shorter the fret as you move up the neck the higher in pitch the note will be so bigger fret, lower pitch, shorter fret, higher pitch of the note. Um, these are fret dots. These are to identify for the player where he's at on the neck for chords and um, you know once a lot of guys get to a certain level they can play without ever really looking at the fret dots but they're also referenced on the top edge of the guitar neck so when you're standing up playing you don't have to lean over and look at the fret dots on the actual face of the neck you have them also on the edge of the neck so when you're looking down you can also tell where you're at on the neck um, the reason why on the neck on the fretboard here you have two fret dots is because that delineates the octave of the note so you've got an E then you've got the octave of the E It's just like going from one low C on a piano to the high C on a piano. It's just an octave. 
Um, this is a 22 fret guitar. There's 22 frets on this fretboard. Some guitar have 20. Some guitars have 24 frets, and the reason for that is it has two fret dots there, and then it'll have two fret dots on the 24th fret, which is actually a two octave guitar. So you've got one octave on the lower register of the neck and one octave on the upper register of the neck. Um, so that's basically the guitar neck and on the back just to kinda as a reference show there's the back of the neck um, that's called the, the roundness of the neck is called the neck radius um, some guitars have a single radius some guitars have a dual radius this guitar has a dual radius neck meaning it's more round here and as you get down to the higher closer space together frets it flattens out so the radius is flatter at the at the base of the neck than it is towards the headstock of the neck. Um, while we've got it flipped over real quick, I'll show you. Um, these are the tuning key covers. That's all they do is cover up the gears and the tuning keys. Um, this is the neck plate. Um, some guitars are neck through, which means you won't have this plate. Um, it's actually Con it's manufactured as one solid piece of wood or it's a set neck where the neck is glued in so you won't have this this plate if you remove the four screws from this plate um, the neck will actually come off uh, this is the back the back plate or um, the back guard and underneath that is where you insert your strings you can see the string balls inside the tremolo which we'll get to when I flip the guitar back over um, so there's the string balls right there. It's the ball into the string, and that's the tremolo plate. Um, underneath the tremolo plate, you have a couple of these, three or four of these. These hook into the back of the tremolo plate, and there's another steel plate that screws into the body of the guitar, and this spring gets stretched out and hooked onto. I, you know, one end of the guitar body, and this slides into the back side of the tremolo. This is the tremolo or bridge. Um, so that's how that works. That's where the tremolo goes. The tremolo, otherwise known as the whammy bar, this goes right in there. So, you know, watch Eddie Van Halen or Steve Vai play anything on YouTube, and you'll see them use this thing, uh, and that'll give you. Uh, indication of what it does but what it does is it works as a as a tool to bend this whole bridge piece down and detune the guitar strings and that's called a whammy bar or a tremolo arm same thing um, you'll hear guitar guys you know talking fancy guitar talk about their potentiometers that's just a fancy word for knob um, these are just knobs um, this is your volume knob, your treble knob, and your bass knob. This is a three-way switch. Some Fender Strats have a five-way switch. This, this is a three-way switch, so when it's in the down position closest to the bridge, that means it has this pickup activated. When it's in the middle position, it has the middle pickup activated. And when it's in the forward position, it has the neck pickup activated. And that's what people are talking about in tone um, you know, conversations and forms between the bridge pickup tone and the neck pickup tone, and that's how they change it is with that switch right there. Um, this fancy gold looking thing here, all that is is a pick guard, and that just serves uh, as a tool to keep you from scratching up the face of the guitar because um, so, you can change these in or out in different colors and styles and this and that. So after you've been playing it for a while, if you're a heavy player or you have a strange picking technique, you'll start to accumulate scratches on the guitar here and sometimes up here. And uh, you can take this off and change it out and make your guitar look nice and new again. Um, this obviously is the body of the guitar. The, just the overall part of the guitar is the body. Um, this part of it right here is called the cutaway and those are just simply so when you're playing you have room for your hands you know from the back side to come around and hit the high notes um, so that's just that's what the cutaway is is called and that's what they're referring to is how the guitar body is actually cut away to make space for your hands to come up and play the higher notes um, these are pickups 
These are single coil pickups. Um, humbuckers or double coil pickups will be two of these stuck together and the reason why that is and the reason why they're called humbuckers is because they're more powerful and when these are single they have more of a tendency to hum which is a, a whole other 10 minute long video as to why it's got to, got to do with a thing called polarity and reverse polarity but in a humbucker they combine that and it bucks the hum out of the guitar so technically humbuckers are more quiet than single coils um, this is the body contouring as you can see this guitar is not flat the whole body of the face of the guitar is not flat it's contoured and on the back side it's also contoured out to just make it more comfortable to play it takes some weight off the guitar it helps it fit up against your body better makes it weigh a little bit less um, now we can get really complicated about this piece right here but I'm not going to because it, it's just really unnecessary. It's the bridge. It's attached to the guitar by those screws right there and by the, the spring mechanism that I explained to you that is in the back of the guitar. These are string saddles right here. The, each, they got six of them, one for each string. And in between the, the saddle, you've got tiny little Allen head screws that you can adjust up or down to raise the action of each individual string so if it's if you got fret buzz or something you can you know gently raise these up with the allen screws until the string is far enough away from the neck to prevent it from buzzing against the neck but that also correlates with the truss rod that we talked about earlier because uh, if the neck's bent because the truss rod's out of adjustment then adjusting these is secondary um, and then the screws on the back of this are intonators and what that means is it will pull or push out the string saddle to adjust the distance between right here and the nut of the guitar um, it's, a, it's a very calculated distance and if it's out of adjustment it's out of what's called intonation so your octave won't sound like an octave it'll sound a little bit under an octave or it'll sound a little bit over an octave and then uh, last but not least these silver things on the end of the guitar here right there and on the other end of the guitar right here are strap locks so you can put a strap on and strap it over your shoulder and stand up and play and last but not least this here is the input where you take a guitar cable and plug it into the guitar and then plug the guitar into a guitar amplifier and that in short is the parts of a Fender Stratocaster thanks for watching thanks for asking the question please hit subscribe and have a nice day